What's up, guys? Luke Johns, Ish Ish Monroe. Monroe, Fisherman's Warehouse. Here, we are going to talk to you guys about Fish and Clear Lake. Um, it has been the hot ticket for the year. Everybody's been talking about it, and the fish have just been chewing up there. We finally got water, and you know, you could fish so many different ways up there now. We got the willow trees are in the water. We got tulies again, finally, which we haven't seen in a couple of years, at least in more than a foot of water. Um, yes. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, you got good offshore structure going into summer. I mean, grass. You, what else could you ask for? You got I know, it all. I know the guys are going to be gearing up for the uh, Western Outdoor News um, Open on Clear that Lake. One. Yeah, yep, that's you're like, not fishing? No, I wish. I'm going to be gone too. Wish, it sucks. Yeah. I, I wish I could fish. It's going to be a great event. So I know you guys are getting geared up, and like he said, it is going to be an offshore and shallow bite and everything mm -hmm. in between, which is great. So we're going to talk to you about all the different aspects of the baits. So me personally, I'm going to start in because I'm going to show you the way that I like to fish. He's more of an all-around guy. I'm looking at all this stuff here. Yeah. And all these are every great base bait. He's, you do. You <laughs> have every base covered. I'm sticking with what I do best. And, and that's obviously going to be flipping. And, you know, the Missile Baits Candy Grass is definitely uh, my color of choice. I love the purple in it. They really love purple and watermelon and the candy flake in it. Um, and then that's just if I'm going to be punching any grass, any of that leafy stuff that you find around, you're going to get in the canals. There's still grass and stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Punching that new jack flipping hook. Flipping five the docks too, right? Flipping the, flipping the docks mm -hmm. as well. But that's going to be a different different bait that's this this the, oh, okay, the, the, okay, the other bait okay. that i'm holding out on okay. you guys <laughs> that i love fishing on clear lake but new jack flipping hook uh the angler's king easy weights you know when you get up there to clear lake like right now you can get away with a three quarter ounce one ounce you know ounce and a quarter but as the summer gets along your mm -hmm. stuff's gonna get thicker you're gonna need an ounce and a half to ounce and three quarter but like he said flipping docks the missile baits destroyer watermelon red bait of choice for me is it's basically a big big creature bait with a lot of profile a lot of movement i've caught so many big bass on it especially like right now fishing beds i've been using it bed fishing up at clear lake the last couple years it definitely catches them and then you know you need a big bite what else do you go to river to sea s waiver um actually fishing the uh, 168 or the 200. Um, for you guys who like the big, big base, the 200 obviously, it speaks for itself. The 168, anybody can throw. You could throw it on any bass tackle. I would just throw it on the same rod you would throw your frogs on or maybe your flipping stick. It'll work really good with that. And last but not least, can you not go to Clear Lake without a frog? You have to go to Clear Lake without a frog. This one right here is the Bully Wah. I like the Fat Matt Daddy from River to Sea. Either frog from River to Sea is going to work and catch bass. And Yellowhead, obviously, what better in California than you've mm -hmm. got in Yellowhead. And that's the way that I personally would be fishing Clear Lake because I love to fish shallow. I'm not necessarily the offshore guy. I will go out there, throw a jig, deep crank, uh, throw a swim bait and fish it deep out there and catch fish when I have to. Too, but I think right now with the way the bite's going, it's going to be wide open, and so I'm going to catch them flipping, frogging, and a big swim bait. What about you? What you got? I got like I already said. I got I got a hodgepodge of everything over here. I got all <laughs> the bases covered, ready to catch them no matter where they're at on the lake. So I'll kind of branch straight off of you going with top water stuff. Staple like they're like the, the double Doubles. buzz. Everybody loves the double buzz. I mean, it's super fun bait to throw. The great thing about a double buzz too is you could throw it over some pretty thick grass, and you know it'll just mow right through it like, you know, like a lawn mower going through that stuff. And I do have those a big for you. ones. Hate what, what what rod reel and line you throw that on? Rod reel and line. Uh, I'll throw it usually on like kind of a flipping stick. I kind of like a heavier setup myself. Um, yeah. You know, because you're just fishing that single jig hook. As long as they get that thing, you can crack them with it then. Make sure they get in the boat. And then, of course, I'm throwing 65-pound braid. Um, you know, when you're around all that heavy grass at Clear Lake and you hook into an 8-pounder or 10-pounder on a, on a buzz bait, you want heavy lines. So <laughs> throw that. Um, and then I'll throw like a, you know, 7-2, 8-2 to 1. Mm. Uh, Corrado is my choice. So, um, you know, that bait, awesome. Uh, you can't go wrong with that. And you can catch fish on that thing all day long, believe it or not. Um, moving on from that one, uh, I'm going to go with the probably the best, most well-known bait at Clear Lake ever invented the LV 500 everybody knows it everybody throws it um, it's phenomenal you can fish it you know just straight reeling it back in yo-yo that thing um, you know rip it through the grass and yeah of course I had to pick ghost the ghost minnow, ghost minnow because of course, yeah. yeah that's that's I, the staple I, color I just, too. Yeah, like 
but we do have a ton of different colors that you could choose from not just the ghost minnow so um that thing's awesome of course throw that uh on you know i throw it on a little bit heavier rod i'm kind of weird i throw an 806 crankbait rod i know it sounds crazy but the longer rod and the heavier heavier weight rod snaps allows out of me, grass snaps out of grass really well um throw it on with some 17 pound sunline crank um that seems to be perfect and uh you know and then Hopefully you just you just don't lose any of those things because they really like throwing those treble hooks out. So, yes, they do. Um, change your treble hooks out though, so that's that's a good way to put some more fish in the boat. What um, treble hooks? What treble hooks you throwing? Uh, I like the owner STs, so I'll throw those out. Oh, or you know some sort of a, a extra wide gap hook too. You know I like I like the wide gap bends. Um, so the I'm throwing owner right STs too, so I'm throwing the right hook. I'm, yeah. I'm just hey, trying, you there know, you go. I'm right on juicy, track. Juicy juicy for information for all of us. <laughs> Moving on, though, uh, sticking with the semi-same idea, crankbait stuff. Uh, this is a diving crankbait, though. Of course, we got the 8XD Strike King. Um, super popular bait up there. Uh, you know, you're fishing those offshore rock piles. A lot of those fish like to pull out onto those things mm -hmm. in the summertime. They get done spawning. They go out there. It's easy for them. They just get to hang out in deep water. They don't get baked by pressured. the sun all day. They don't get pressured. Um, so throwing an 8XD or even a 10XD... Or, you know, uh, I know River to Sea's got the uh, Tactical DD crank. That's yeah. another really good deep diving option. So uh, those things are awesome. And I actually throw that same rod that I throw uh, that uh, LV on. I throw it on an 806 crank rod, just something you can absolutely launch that thing with. Um, and, you know, crank that thing down and, and just beat it up on some rock piles. And you're going to get the right school fired up. You can catch a ton of fish. Uh, and big ones. And big ones. And big ones. But, again, change your treble hooks out owner sts you'll be chilling um moving on uh we're gonna go with another fun one the alabama rig uh and of course love to pair that thing up with one of the kai um you could even just throw a plain kai -tech or you know anything like that and underspin is another great option but uh if you are throwing it on the a rig uh it's phenomenal right now i'd throw this thing predominantly in the morning times i mean they, uh, they kind of stop eating it throughout the day. You notice in the summertime when it gets really warm, but when they're up there feeding in the morning, it's a great option for you. So um, this one right here, it's got blades on it. It's a Picasso schoolie rig. It's a great little bait, um, but of course you can go no blade. Um, I don't know how clear the water's been up there, but uh, you know, a no blade option might be a little bit better for you right now, but throw that thing around the docks. Um, teaming it with the... Teaming it with the Kitech this one's a 4.3 i'll even go up to like a 5 8 you know i'll throw some, you throw some big swim baits you can get away with it at clear lake yeah. um and this one right here of course is the um the light hitch color i mean you gotta you gotta match you gotta match the color <laughs> of the lake you're going to so guaranteed you know, to work guaranteed to work is what you're saying guaranteed to work I and like uh it. and we got tons of different colors of kite so if you guys are you know needing any color any size we've probably got it yeah. so um check us out online um and another fun one Z-Man Jackhammer. Um, you know, this is an awesome little bait. And, uh, of course, everybody loves throwing a chatterbait. It's been real popular over the last couple of years. But throw that thing, rip it through the grass. It, you kind of fish it in the same areas you're fishing your LV in. Yeah. Um, but up shallow in the grass, uh, rip it through there. And those those trailer, ones no trailer. hate it. I do throw a trailer. Uh, I throw That's a bunch true. of different trailers. I okay. throw I'll throw the Zacco. I'll, I'll throw like a flapping hog if I want sort of a cross style on the back. Um, even, you know, sometimes I'll even just throw the Kitech on the back there. Um, but I mean, it just, you kind of want to match it with whatever you're trying to, uh, recreate, you know, if gotcha. you're throwing a craw pattern, I like throwing a craw bait. Um, and then if I'm throwing a bluegill, I like throwing some sort of a swim bait color, you know, uh, kind of match the hatch on that one. Two years ago, I won a boat, spunk shad, jackhammer, you know, yep. way to go on clear lake. Mm -hmm. Um, I am loving the, uh, spunk shad along with it too as well as a great trick they're just something a little bit more subtle has been for me that i think has triggered a few more fish so yeah. clear lake yeah jackhammer you can't go wrong who doesn't want to throw i can't figure a lake that you can't catch one on a jackhammer been been anywhere you know. couldn't catch them I've, I've had my guys catch them on shasta in january right on the jackhammer. you know on the on the jackhammer so uh it's crazy crazy little bait you catch so what, them everywhere what else we got left wouldn't be a Luke Johns video if there wasn't some finesse stuff in here. So for all you finesse spinning rod, fairy wand lovers, uh, whatever you want to call it, I've got the six inch Sanko. Uh, I do have it in your favorite color though, watermelon red. Okay. So maybe and it's a six inch. So I'm and I'm, it's a six inch. And it's right? a six inch. Yeah, he's so, man. He's man fishing now. Yeah. He's stepping up. And you could even throw this one on a bait caster. Yes. So, anyways, the six inch Sanko. Um, 
a lot of these fish, uh, you know, especially when they're spawning right now, and you just want something slow to work over their bed, something subtle or more subtle at least than a double buzz or something like that. You can Wacky throw this or thing. Texas? Both. 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 Okay. I, I like the Texas rig a lot with the six inch. Um, yeah. It just sinks a lot better than the five inch I found for a Texas rig. Um, but I do, I will say, I gotta, I gotta love the five inch still. Hook? I throw when that you a Texas lot. rig. Texas rig. I'll throw a four rot uh, owner all purpose worm hook on that one. Is that and a straight shank? Uh, no, it's an extra wide gap. Okay. And then, uh, of course, I will throw a mosquito hook uh, for my wacky rigs. It's I found it to be one of the best hooks. What ever. size on the wacky rig and mosquito mm. for the six inch? Uh, I'd probably go up to a two odd on that okay. thing because I'll throw yeah. the one odd on a five inch. Um, that fits it really well, but bump it up to a two odd um, for the six inch. For the six inch, yeah. Um, but that's a great bait. You could you know you could throw a nail weight in it, but if you're fishing Clear Lake, you're probably fishing ten or less, so no need for a nail weight. Texas rig the sucker or you know, if you're not around too much grass, Power throw it on a wacky rig and uh, flip it next to some docks. That's uh, that's where I like to fish it mostly. What Just pound throw line? It. Oh, 15. 15? 15, okay. 15. Yeah. 15. Yeah. yeah. You can go heavier if you want to. But. Clear Lake. I'm going to go 20. Yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm a light line guy. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, oh, drop shot on yeah. Clear Lake, eight pound line. Let's do it. So. Oh, man. I'm no, just, I'm, I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, go, I go to 10. I go I to guess, 10. Don't I worry. I see you now bowing <laughs> up on them 10s and Clear Lake. That's when it gets fun, though. That's when it gets fun. Yes, it does. Um, yeah, so speaking of 8-pound line, Ooh boy. drop shot, baby. you got to have the MM3. It's the staple color yes, out here, so um, you can catch them anywhere on it. If you just want to go out and catch 100 fish, take that thing down the bank, and you're going to catch a ton of fish right now. Um, you know, I throw that on a drop shot. I throw a quarter-ounce weight, and then I'll throw anywhere from 10 to 15-pound on uh, on that thing and you know you can throw bait caster or spinning rod doesn't really matter i like the spinning rod though and the reason for that is because i throw a braid backing right. on my spinning rod so mm -hmm. you have a lot better sensitivity yeah um but of course when you do hook one of those eight pounders on the spinning <laughs> rod it's it's singing all over the place it just makes it a little bit more fun you know you just you just gotta hope hope you get her in the boat but uh anyways i think that pretty much covers all my bases for for fishing i don't think of anywhere on the lake that i couldn't go and catch a fish with one of these baits i think the only thing i didn't leave out football head jig because you kind of mentioned that earlier yep um that's another great remember. bait if you're fishing offshore yeah i mean you cover all your we've covered all the bases on clear lake and, and the great part about it is clear lake is one of those lakes that you could fish any style that you want these are the baits mm -hmm. that we're using these are the baits that i tell you a lot of guys are using in the colors that guys are using and it's just pretty much pick your choice um, and yep. so you know if you want to go up and fish shallow i'd go flipping and frogging and throwing swim bait if you want to fish deep you got the 8xd you got your drop shot and even if you want to fish in between you got your cinco your jackhammer your lv your a rig i mean you're, you're covering all your bases with you know the kai tech um i like on my a rigs um i i like the rig walkers from river to sea that's kind of been my bait of choice for it because they're already pre-rigged and so for folks who don't know how to rig up a swim bait definitely check those out from river to sea and that's called the rig walker and they're basically pre-rigged for your a rigs or just throwing by themselves and that folks if you're going to clear lake is definitely the way to go get yourself geared up you can go into uh fisherman's warehouse in the manteca fairfield or sacramento store or check us out at fisherman'swarehouse.com and definitely give us a like and comments on our social media and like i said we've talked about this before you've got anything you want to know about fishing hit us up let us know you can yep. say hey ish hey luke what do you guys got for us this week you know austin any of the guys oxy at the manteca store i mean we have all great managers and everybody at the store is fish so you need a little bit more information about clear lake go in and see those folks there at fisherman's warehouse mm -hmm. yep we're here to help you guys so um yep check us out online like he said come in store and uh, we'll get you hooked up with anything you need whether it's for clear lake or anywhere else uh we've got the tackle for you so all right I guess we'll yeah. see you in the next video, right? Yep, see you All then. Right.